Marco filming from Django 2015 uh, from the booth of Indie Boards and Cards. Now, two of my favorite games the last couple of years are Revolution and One Night Werewolf. You can imagine how excited I was when I saw the two of them married and had a kid. That is One Night Revolution. And Jeremiah has agreed to tell us a little bit about this new release. Thank you, Jeremiah. Yeah. So One Night Revolution is a game in which uh, it is taking the resistance uh, and let's say let's say you only have one mission that you want to that you can go on so in here uh, you have the informants and, uh, and well, the other two sides and they are uh, trying to figure out who's on what team and by the end of it they have to find out they have to point at a red guy they have to figure out who a red guy is now uh, like in one night werewolf um, you have these roles that can switch things around, mm -hmm. uh, but um, in in One Night Revolution, you have which team you're on as well as the role that you have, okay. um, and those those aren't tied together. Uh, so you might be an observer who is on the red team or an observer who's on the blue team, and do a different thing because of that. You gather information based upon what has happened around you and hope that you can figure out who you are as well as who is on your team um, and that all happens very quickly you can teach and play it in about 15 minutes huh. mm -hmm. so. so what are some of the powers well the uh, the observer is the is the, the base the base power which is you pay attention to what's going on okay then uh, that's the, a very cool power the signaler is going to tap someone so everybody has that, that night phase where everybody's eyes are closed uh -huh. the the signaler is going to tap someone to their side um, or if they are on the evil team, they're going to tap someone around the room. Um, the, there's a, a, a player that can switch the allegiance of someone. Uh, somebody that can flip over a card, and if it turns out that it's on the red team, they they keep it up. If it's on the blue team, they, they cover it back down. Um, or the other way around, I'm forgetting right now. <laughs> um, so there's all sorts of different things that can happen, and you get you can mix all those roles together to come up with a new a new uh, grouping of those roles each time, or you can use the suggested ones um, that make a really solid base game uh, yeah. for your first few plays. Yeah, it does sound different from just One Night Werewolf with a revolution yes. art. It sounds like it there is are new mechanics. It is, it is very similar. You will feel comfortable playing it if you played One Night Werewolf. However, this is a different game. The, the night phase works quite differently um, with each person. It's not an order of the characters. It's in order of where you're sitting at the table. Uh -huh. So you might do your action before um, before someone and know that, and so know once you figure out what they've done, um, then that can affect what you think you have left. So, nice, yeah. different deduction mechanism. Yeah. Okay, I'm very excited about One Night Revolution, a new release by Indie Boards and Cards. Thank you, Jeremiah, for telling us about Thank the game. You.